Hey guys, welcome to Aditech and in this video, I'll show you guys the Witcher 3 benchmark performance in RTX 3060 Ti graphics cards. And it's a 8GB graphics card and the performance is going to be similar to all the brands. Every brand has the same chip, so the performance will be the same. And I will show you guys all the graphics presets and its performance such as FPS and RAM usage and video RAM usage and GPU usage, CPU usage etc. So let's compare the performance shall we? First off, we will start with the non RTX version which is DirectX 11. But if you are only interested to see the RTX quality then you can just go ahead directly skip from the timeline. But I would recommend you guys to watch fully so it will be helpful for you to compare. And as you guys can see it's a low preset and we are getting almost 70 fps average and 68% RAM. CPU and GPU usage is around 30. And when it comes to its quality, not bad at all. Especially the hair smoothness is amazing even in lower quality. And next off, we are going with the medium setting. And let's ride the roach around to see if it has any kind of frame rate differences. As you guys can see, we are getting around 69, 68. I guess average is 66. But our CPU usage is gone like 50% and the GPU usage is stays the same and the video RAM is 37%. Now we are going with the high setting. What happened to his hat? I guess it was loading. And now we are getting around 57, 55. I guess we can say it like 53 is the average and the RAM is 70%. Video RAM is 40%. And the CPU usage is like 50% to 40% and the GPU stays the same. The quality is decent, overall it's playable. Now we are going for the ultra setting. I guess I'm expecting too much graphics quality in this so let's see what we are getting at. I guess it has little bit of more details, quality is little bit improved. But for the FPS, we are getting around 47 to 46. It's low, I guess. And the RAM is 71%, video RAM is 47%, GPU is 44% and the CPU is 53%. It's playable, but uh, not that good. But I wouldn't play in this quality. Now it's time for the Ultra Plus settings. Let us see the greatness. Wow my god. The details are extremely great. The environment actually looks more realistic right now. But the frame rate that we are getting is around 49 to 50. And the RAM is 72%, video RAM is 46%, GPU is 60% and the CPU is 60%. I guess we are getting better FPS because only fewer NPCs are around us right now. But if we go into the city, probably our FPS will be similar to the ultra setting. Overall, it's definitely playable. I prefer low graphics setting for the DirectX 11 because the details are decent even in lower quality and we are getting a lot of FPS. If you look closer, even his hair is looks great in the slow settings and the environment looks pretty much decent even without ultra plus setting so i would say go for the low preset so far we were testing for non rtx edition witcher 3 so it is our time to benchmark the rtx edition let's do this this is a witcher 3 rtx mode with low preset which is direct x 12 and we are getting around 52 fps and the ram is 88 and video ram is 50 percent and the gpu is around 30 percent and the cpu is 40 percent definitely playable but i am seeing some kind of little bit of blur around the place i guess changing the settings might fix that 
Now it's time for the medium settings. The quality is actually improved a little bit and the FPS we are getting is around 50 to 44. I would say 48 is the average FPS. RAM is 88% and the video RAM is 52%, GPU is 35% and the CPU is 43%. It's playable, but uh, it's not that completely smooth play, that much I can tell. It's time for the high setting. As we increasing the quality, the frame rate drop in practice getting higher and higher. Right now we are getting around 42 frame rate and the RAM is 87%, video RAM is 54%, GPU is 35%, CPU is around 50%. Now it's time for the Ultra. As you guys can see, we are getting around 46 frame rate. The RAM is 81% and the video RAM is 56% and the GPU is 33%, CPU is almost 50%. I think the optimization is not that good. I don't even like to play in this quality because it feels kind of weird. I would rather prefer the cartoon quality. From the low setting. Now it's time for the ray tracing, aka RT. I have a bad feeling about this because so far none of the higher settings giving any good results. So, oh my god. The frame rate is actually like 23 and the RAM is 90%, video RAM is 92%. GPU is 52% and CPU is 50%. That means our 16GB RAM is not enough for this game. And also our video RAM is almost running at the max. So it's bottlenecked. Possibly I will upgrade my RAM to even further. So if I do that I will definitely record another small clip and I will leave the link in the description below or in the comments below. So please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss that content. Now it's time for the RT Ultra, the maximum setting. And as you guys can see, we are getting around 28 frame. No, 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 no. It's loading. It's still loading. Okay. Yeah, it's the same as previous FPS. I guess we will get around 24 FPS and the RAM is 86%. Video RAM is 94%. And the GPU is 45% and the CPU is also 45%. Wait a sec, the GPU is actually 60%. So the conclusion is, Witcher 3 ray tracing is resource hungry. So you may need to have even more better graphics card and more RAM models. Possibly Witcher 3 developers may release some optimization in the future. So if they did that, we will definitely able to play it in the smooth mode in the future. Don't give up guys because ray tracing is still on the development so we still have a chance. I hope this helps you guys. If this helps you then please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye. Peace.